Getting radioactive waste from A to B can be challenging, but when the A in question is a relic of our nuclear past and the most hazardous industrial building in Western Europe, and the B represents modern safe storage solutions for decades to come, we have to make the journey. This metal container is the beast of burden which will be used to get the waste out of the Magnox Swarf storage silo. It's called a package and this one has been made by TSP Engineering in Workington. Essentially a 50 tonne shielded steel box made up of three sections, the base and its doors allow a skip of waste to be transferred from the waste retrievals machine. The middle section holds the skip and the lid allows the waste to be removed at the other end. Our first finished package bears all the marks of any moving target. Some components have been moved or removed as the design has evolved. The changes have been driven by scientific breakthroughs in our understanding of how the intermediate level waste will behave. We no longer need the packages to be filled with nitrogen and the downstream plants they're taken to have changed as well. Now we've pinned down the design and have manufactured the first one. Due to its nuclear safety consequence of a, of a spillage, the, the package has to be robustly designed and built and they're lead shielded due to the high uh, radiation and contamination potentially within the package as well. It takes a long period of time to make sure we have the absolute nuclear safety uh, principles covered that we need. The overall MSSS retrievals process is, is a complicated, complex uh, animal that needs to be managed in all facets and the package is just one as aspect of that. As well as getting the waste out, they'll also be used to get contaminated equipment into the silo. And as there will eventually be three silo emptying plants, all exporting up to three skips of waste a day, we'll need a total of 24 packages to manage the flow of material both in and out of the silo. Once the five gamma gates we need are included, it amounts to around £100 million of manufacturing demand. For Cumbrian firm TSP, which has descended from a long history of Workington steelmaking, Sellafield is a crucial customer. Over the last four years our relationship's grown and the collaboration between the teams grown from that and it's important because of the close proximity to, uh, from our business to Sellafield that um, we maintain those connections because um, it keeps the local economy um, busy um, and the, the local employment levels high. Being able to put the Sellafield kite mark on their product is also opening new doors for TSP. Well, we're building a relationship at the moment with Rolls-Royce who are quite highly um, um, involved in the civil nuclear side of, side of um, the industry. Uh, we're building a relationship with Rolls-Royce which is very important to us and that couldn't have been done unless we had the experience we have with Sellafield at the moment. Safety is our top priority so our engineering specifications are particularly stringent. At TSP, they've built a replica of the system which will be used in the silo to prove that their packages work. They're tested time and time again in this non-radioactive environment because there's no going back once the real work starts. It's essential we get it right because it's going to be an operational facility for a long period of time and it's no, there's no then fixing once it gets onto site. So what we do now will be what is required for the next 20, 30 years. So getting it right in the factory is the most important thing and getting the quality right is the most important thing to us. Anything when you're trying to prove a new design um, has its challenges. Once you get into uh, a stable design there's still challenges but anything that's a bespoke uh, first off the line design is always going to be very challenging to any business. Finishing the first package and putting in place commercial arrangements to make more of them is another important milestone in probably the most challenging job in nuclear decommissioning. Sellafield works really closely with TSP. We have guys here stationed every day um, working closely on, the, on, on the, both the design side and the manufacture side and in quality assurance to make sure we're getting the uh, products we require. It's been a very collaborative relationship. We're really proud to have been involved in this, uh, in this project. Obviously, the importance to both Sellafield and, and nationally is, is not lost on, on TSP. Uh, and the fact that we've been um, part of something that's, that's bigger than us, uh, but we've paid a, a massive part in it, is, is, uh, we're really proud as a business.